Hello, I'm Master Delpe. I'd like to welcome you to our brief talk about compassion fatigue. I am the founder of MTP Foundation and the architect of Well Life Program, something that can help people with compassion fatigue and burnout. When people serve others, even unpaid volunteers, like there are 21% of the U.S. population, around 44.5 million Americans, are serving unpaid friends or relatives who are sick and who are old and the elderly and they are experiencing several vital signs of what we call compassion fatigue. For example, I have seen a common thread in a lot of nonprofit workers and volunteers. They are sometimes demotivated at the end, feeling that they are victims of life, they are underpaid, they are underappreciated and they also focus too much on their clients. So at the end, they lack time for themselves and so it results into what we call compassion fatigue. So high stress, burnout, devitalized, cannot sleep well, and also they don't have much time for their families and their social life and themselves. Becoming uh, poor time managers at the end. They don't know how to prioritize whether and their work-life balance issues are very imbalanced. Also, uh, they have also surveyed a lot of these managing directors of nonprofits, even in the United States. They found that a lot of them, some surveys say three out of four, uh, are planning to move out from the nonprofit sector in five years because either they are underpaid and underappreciated and overworked. So imagine that volume of work that can uh, be wasted even with all the money of the philanthropists today giving a lot of funds to Africa, to India, to the United States underserved groups if the efficacy and the effectiveness of our workers and health care givers and servers to these nonprofit missions are diminished because they are already sickly, they are having absenteeism issues, they cannot focus their mind back, they instigate a lot of irritability and impatience and intolerance towards their clientele and many other uh, side effects of burnout and compassion fatigue. So seeing all these things from Africa to India to the Philippines to Colombia, to uh, even in the United States alone, I have seen the need and an urgent need to help a lot of our nonprofit workers and volunteers to really focus back their energy towards their missions and, and install back the inspiration. First, by giving them back energy, revitalizing them, uh, releasing their stress and uh, conflict issues in their lives, also healing their emotions that come with uh, service and amongst themselves, the power play amongst organization. Also to teach them how to sharpen their mind to focus back into their strategic uh, plans and business plans. To be able to serve their customers and the nonprofit sector uh, with uh, excellence. So what we did in our program under the MTP Foundation is we designed special exercises that are very quick that will give you back your energy and boost your vitality quickly and also techniques to heal your emotions, to sharpen back your mind and focus back your, your priorities and also awaken back the inspiration which you need to do extra uh, jobs in a mission like HIV in Africa or anti-diabetes in India or any kind of uh, mission that are for the underserved. Especially in areas where there are no amenities for comfortable uh, living. So I'd like you to visit our website so you can see our program. We can do it into uh, an individual format or a group format or a, an organizational training program, which is totally different from the psychological uh, techniques that uh, the world are using now. It's, our system is very fast, very focused, a very quick result, and it really works with compassion fatigue. So serve more your loved ones, serve more your, your, your clients, but with zest and vitality and regain back your inspiration. Visit our website, mdpfglobal.org.